As always, it is so great to have you here and I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Anyways, I had a pretty busy weekend, spent most of it here in Spain on Four Kitchen, you know, doing test run recipes for future episodes. Anyways, one of the recipes I made truly stood out above the rest, which is the one we're making today, which is zucchini stuffed with a rich and smoky tomato sauce and then topped off with finely grated manchego cheese. Now, my kids are not very big fans of zucchini, though they'll eat it if I give it to them, but these stuffed zucchinis right here truly blew them away, folks. Now, is this recipe super easy to make, but it's another one of those dishes that's made with the most basic pantry staples and comes together in just 40 minutes. Let's begin by grabbing two medium-sized zucchinis. These have already been washed and patted dry and cutting off about half an inch from each end, which is one and a quarter centimeters. Then we'll cut each zucchini in half lengthwise and using a spoon, I'm going to start removing the pulp from the pieces of zucchini. And you want to leave about a half inch border at each end, which once again is one and a quarter centimeters. And you want to try and remove as much of the pulp as possible, but without breaking that skin in the bottom. That way later on, we can fill those zucchinis with as much tomato sauce as possible. Then we'll season the insides of each zucchini with a little sea salt. and place them face down over a wire rack with some paper towels underneath and we're going to let them sit here for about 15 minutes. This is enough time for that salt to extract the water out of the zucchini. That way later on when we cook it, it doesn't get mushy and it keeps its beautiful firm texture. In the meantime, let's start making our tomato sauce. I'm going to heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm going to finely dice one small onion, finely chop one small celery stick, finely chop one small carrot that's been peeled, and we'll roughly chop four cloves of garlic. Once all the vegetables have been cut, I'm going to add them into the pan with the hot olive oil. And you want to make sure to mix the vegetables around continuously. That way they all evenly saute. And this is also going to ensure that the garlic doesn't brown, which can easily give it a bitter flavor. After about three minutes and the vegetables are lightly sauteed and the onion is nice and translucent, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 2.30 grams, and half a teaspoon of dry thyme, which is about half a gram. And we'll give this a quick mix, that way the spices are evenly coating all the vegetables. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva. Like I've told you in the past, this is one of the greatest Spanish paprikas out there. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then I'm going to add in a 14 and a half ounce can of tomato sauce, which is 400 grams. You can also use pasata here if you like. In a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes that I drained, which once again is 400 grams. Very important to drain the diced tomatoes. If you add the liquid in there, your tomato sauce is going to be too watery and you're not going to end up with that beautiful concentration of flavors. And we'll season everything with sea salt, freshly cracked black pepper, and a pinch of white sugar to cut the acid from the tomatoes. And we'll give this one final mix. That way all the ingredients are evenly mixed together. Then we'll lower the fire from a medium heat to a low heat. And we're going to simmer our tomato sauce for about 10 minutes. This is enough time for all the flavors to develop and for all the vegetables to have a beautiful tender texture. In the meantime, let's move back to our zucchini. As you can see, a ton of water has been extracted out of the zucchini. That way later on when we cook it once again, it's going to keep its beautiful firm texture. Using some paper towels, I'm going to pat the inside of each zucchini completely dry. And then we'll transfer our pieces of zucchini into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper, making sure they're all in a single layer. 
All right, let's move back to our tomato sauce. It's been simmering on low heat for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, it's really thickened up and all the flavors have beautifully developed. At this point, I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat and we'll start adding the tomato sauce into the pieces of zucchini. You wanna add in as much tomato sauce as possible, but without it overflowing. And then we'll top off each zucchini with some finely grated manchego cheese. The one that I'm using has been aged for six months, so it's got a beautiful flavor to it, but it easily melts. However, to make this recipe, you can use whatever cheese you like. And we'll add our baking tray into a preheated oven, bake and broil option. That's the bottom and top heat, 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. If your oven can't do both functions at the same time, no big deal. Just leave your zucchini in there for a couple minutes longer than me or until that cheese is fully melted through and with a beautiful golden baked color. After about 10 to 12 minutes, and that cheese has a beautiful golden baked color to it, and it's fully melted through, I'm gonna remove the zucchini from the oven, and we'll leave our stuffed zucchinis to rest here, just between two to three minutes, that way they can settle. After a couple minutes, these stuffed zucchinis are ready to go. I'm gonna transfer a couple of them into a serving dish and sprinkle them with some finely chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, our stuffed zucchinis with a rich and smoky tomato sauce is done. Super easy to make, such a gorgeous presentation, and the best part, came together in about 40 minutes. Let's give these a try and see how they turned out. Now this is what great food is all about in a dish I cannot wait to try. Even though I just had it over the weekend, hopefully it'll be as good. Here we go. Wow. I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but that's one of the best dishes we've ever done here on Spain on Fork. So many great flavors. Uh, the zucchini's got a great texture to it. By letting it sit there for about 20 minutes with the salt, absolutely no mush. But the real winner's the tomato sauce, the carrots, the celery, the sweet smoked Spanish pepper in the thyme, explosion of so much goodness, and then the manchego cheese, just taking it to the next level. You saw this, so easy to make. Comes together in about 40 minutes. Give this a try home and I promise it is gonna completely roll away because it is that good. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Martin John Madsen, Jesper Haloon, Jim Owens, Tommy Williams, and Clarence Bolin. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below and share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Until the next time, hasta luego. Too good. Well.